I made this amazing chocolate milk bottle full of candy. I'll show you how, but first I want to show you how I made this chocolate Coca-Cola bottle. I started with a regular bottle of Coke, which I emptied into a glass, then washed it out so it's nice and clean. You need to make sure it's perfectly dry inside, and carefully remove the label. Keep it to one side because we'll be using this later. Next we need to melt some chocolate, so I heated some water up in a pan and placed in a bowl as a bain marie. I'm using a good quality dark cooking chocolate for this, which I unwrapped, snapped it all into pieces, then place it into the bowl. As it's melting, make sure you stir it regularly, and when there's no lumps left, carefully remove it from the pan, place a funnel into the bottle, and carefully pour in the chocolate. Then we need to slowly tilt and rotate the bottle to completely coat the inside. We need to go right up to the bottle neck and make sure the entire inside is covered. Then lie it on its side so it can start to set. But as it cools and starts setting, we need to regularly rotate the bottle to make sure the chocolate layer is nice and even all the way around. So that it's strong, it needs to be a good thick layer. So if you need to, do add some more chocolate. And while it's setting, I'm going to show you this really cool trick I did with an Easter egg. I took it out of the box and unwrapped it from the foil. And as with most Easter eggs, it's completely hollow. But I reckon it would be far better if it was actually filled up with M&Ms. The two halves of this egg are actually stuck together, and you can see the drawing line running down the middle. I used a sharp knife and made a series of holes around half of the base of the egg to weaken it so I could snap it off and make a nice neat hole. But when I tried to prise it out, only the end snapped off, but actually that'll be a big enough hole for the M&Ms to go through. And it's a nice neat break, so it should stick back on easily enough later. To hold the egg as I'm filling it up, I took a ramekin and used it as an egg cup. And I'm going to fill it with these packet of M&Ms, but I don't think they're going to be enough, so I bought some more. So I opened them and started to fill up the egg. And I'm going to mix them all together. These ones in the yellow packet are peanut M&Ms and they're a lot larger. But they did still fit through the hole. You could of course use other sweets too. Or even fill it up with mini eggs. And I'm filling it right up to the top. And I was able to fit all of these packets inside the egg. Wow, this thing's going to be heavy. But next we need to reattach the chocolate piece I snapped off. To do this, I used a lighter and gently melted the edge of the chocolate. Then put it back in place. You can use a knife to smooth it out a little bit. And if you need to, melt a little additional chocolate chocolate and add that to the gaps too. And I also covered up the other holes I made to make sure it's strong. It doesn't look quite as nice as it did originally, but it is nice and strong. And I did it on the bottom of the egg to make it less visible. Once I'd finished, I wrapped it back up in the foil it came in. This egg now contains over half a kilogram of M&Ms, so it is pretty heavy. You can put it all back in the packaging with some additional packs of M&Ms if you really want, and give it to someone as a surprise on Easter Day. When they open it up, they'll wonder why it's so heavy. And to open it, I tried cracking the top off with a spoon. It's completely full of these amazing coloured M&Ms. <laughs> wow, check that out. Pretty cool, huh? That would definitely be a real surprise. But now I'm going to show you how I made the chocolate milk bottle. It's the same process as the Coke bottle. Once you've emptied it, wash it out with water, leave it to dry, and carefully remove the label. Now for this one, of course, instead of using dark chocolate, we need to use white chocolate. Again, I snapped it all up and melted it in a bain-marie. And because of the size of the milk bottle, we're going to need a lot of chocolate. So I actually added a few more slabs. It took quite a while, but I ended up with this huge bowl of melted white chocolate. And wow, that smells amazing. Carefully remove the bowl from the pan and slowly pour it into the bottle. Again, we're going to need a really thick layer to make sure the bottle is nice and strong. And once you poured in a load, start tilting and rotating it. We need to completely coat the inside. You have to make sure the handle is full because it needs to be strong and slowly start working your way right the way to the top. Once it is all covered, lie the bottle down and leave it to start setting. Again, as it's setting, we need to regularly rotate the bottle to make sure the layer is thick and uniform all the way around. Otherwise, we just have a thick slab at the bottom and the rest would all be quite thin. And while this one's setting, let's take a look at the chocolate coke bottle. I've left it a few hours and it's completely set. So now I'm going to fill it up with some sweets or candy. I'm using these chocolate mini eggs and they just about fit through the bottleneck. This is going to be perfect for Easter and I'm filling it right up to the top. Next we need to remove the plastic bottle. Now this bit can be a bit tricky. I'm taking a sharp knife and carefully start cutting through the plastic to remove it from the chocolate. Do go very slowly and try not to leave any scratch marks on the chocolate. Once I got it started, I found I could slowly rip the bottle off. I managed to get the top off first and then I worked on the bottom half. I was able to rip this all the way down to the very bottom, here, then one more little cut, and I got the whole thing off. Wow, check that out! And once it's all off, you can tidy up any blemishes with some kitchen paper. And next, the finishing touches. Reattach the label we took off earlier, and place on the lid. That's our chocolate Coke bottle complete. Pretty cool, huh? You can take the lid off and try to tip out whatever's inside, or lie it down and break away at the chocolate. Imagine getting this instead of an Easter egg. How cool would that be?
Back in 2016, when I passed the 2 million subscriber milestone, I made this chocolate cake to celebrate. There wasn't actually any cake in it. It was just chocolate and M&Ms. And to make it, I used one of these non-stick cake tins, which has a removable base like this. I melted down a big load of chocolate again and poured it straight into the tin. Again, I carefully tilted and rotated it to make a layer that completely coated the inside. Then sit it down so it starts to set. I kept the bowl of chocolate warm in the hot water so that we can add some more later if we need to. As it was setting, I kept making it thicker and thicker, and then in the end I found it easiest to spread it around with a spoon. I think that's about done, that's a nice thick layer. I left it to set, then took a nice sharp knife to cut around the rim. We want to make sure the chocolate is nice and flat so it can sit on a plate without wobbling. As I'm cutting it, it does still feel a little bit soft, so I'm going to leave it a little bit longer to set. But you can really see just how thick the layer of chocolate is. And once it has completely set, you can go ahead and remove the tin. I lifted off the sides and peeled off the bottom. And there we have our chocolate bowl. And I'm filling it with different types of M&Ms. The colours just work so well together. But you could of course fill it with whatever you like. I filled it right up to the top, but now we've got to somehow turn it over. So I took a plate, sit it upside down on top, and carefully flip the whole thing upside down so it sits on the plate like this. Whatever you do, don't lift it up. Then to cover it, I used this homemade icing. It's super easy. It comes already rolled out, so we just got to lay it over the top. Huh, now it's starting to look like a cake. I used a knife to cut off the excess, and I added a bead around the bottom to help it stick to the plate. Then you can decorate it any way you like. I made my own YouTube play button and added icing and numbers. It was a great way to celebrate 2 million subscribers. And now we're fast on the way to 7 million subscribers. So thank you all so much for your support. You've been absolutely amazing and I really appreciate it. And now back to the chocolate milk bottle. So once it's set, it'll look like this. Wow, that's pretty heavy as well. The next stage of course is to remove the plastic. So take a sharp knife and do go very carefully. I started at where the label's going to be, so if we make any scratches by mistake, we can cover them up. Once I got it started, I found I could carefully peel it off with my hands again, and that's the whole bottom section off. The top piece did go okay, but you do need to be especially careful around the handle. This is the most fragile part, and we really don't want it to snap, and also around the bottleneck. Once we've got all the plastic off, you should be able to just slide the label back over and screw on the lid. It looks great and most people would think that's just an ordinary bottle of milk. But of course, I had to go that one step further and fill it up. This time, instead of just M&Ms, I'm actually adding a mixture of different things. And because the bottle neck is a lot wider on this one, it's really easy to fill up. Again, I filled it right up to the top before replacing the cap. And that's our finished chocolate milk bottle surprise. Pretty cool, huh? If you want to, you can open up the lid and pour out the contents. But I wanted to lay it down on its side and break it open to spill out the sweets. So I'm using this little hammer. And wow, it's really thick. It's taking a few hits. Well, there we go. I tidied it up a bit. And doesn't that look amazing? And it was great fun to make. Now, I really love these chocolate cream eggs, which is why I tried cooking with them and testing them with kitchen gadgets. You can see just how I got on by clicking on this video here. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.